Hey everyone. Um, I'm just out here with Verat again. We've just uh, popped out into the uh, the wheat belt area um, for a, a quick little midweek shoot. Uh, nothing too exciting, but uh, I've got a new uh, vlogging lens, so I was pretty keen to get out and give it a try. So let me know what you think. It's a bit wider. It's the Viltrox. 13 millimeter f 1.4 for the Nikon uh, Z crop cameras. So yeah, seems to be doing a pretty good job. Um, so we've got a bit of canola here behind me and we've got a nice big tree in the background which I'll try and get a better shot of, of for you. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we're gonna try and shoot uh, this little uh, deserted bakery at Green Hills. So probably just the two locations tonight. Um, beautiful clear skies. It's probably the only opportunity we're going to get for another week or so because the clouds are coming in again. Um, so yeah we thought we'd uh, just nip out for a quick shoot and uh, try and make the most of the clear skies and uh, yeah I'll uh, finish up here and we'll see what we can get for you. Okay guys, uh, just going to set up the tracker here in a little clear spot and I'll get uh, probably a tracked pano with at least the 35, maybe the 20 and I might even do a small little section of the sky with the 85, we'll, we'll see how that looks. Um, yeah, so we get a nice clear view of the setting Milky Way here. And we've got the tree over the back there. So I'll shoot the foreground separately, untracked. So yeah, I think uh, time's about uh, 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, just after 10 o'clock. So the Milky Way is in a pretty good position now for, for tracking. So let's get to it. Tracker base or the wedge. So I think, as I've said before, I take the tracker off when I'm shooting, when I'm uh, first doing the alignment, just to avoid any interference. So we get this aligned uh, leveling base. Oh, so not line level. I'll look for my apps. So I've got my compass. So we want true south, not make not magnetic south. leave my headlamp on don't I? Um, so looking at the compass I can see we are minus 31.87 degrees latitude so that is what I want on my declination 31.75 31.8 okay so that should be aligned the tracker on. Drop the, I think this is the, I always forget what this is called, declination bracket is it? I can't remember. We got the Z bracket on top here, just to get everything 
Okay, my lights are messing up the rats' shots. So I'll turn them out. This is my Benro three-way geared head on top. Okay, so I've got the Nikon Z6 with the 35mm f1.8 Like him on top Lens cap off helps So we will turn the tracker on And grab a test shot see how our alignment looks in fact, the first thing I'm going to do is check focus. I can find a star. So I'm just jogging it backwards and forwards. Got to do is put my intervalometer on. So I've got the Myops trigger here, which I use primarily for intervalometer purposes, so I can get a 30 second exposure or two minute exposure, should I say. disorganized tonight. It was kind of a last minute thing to come out here. Okay, just find the MyOps app. connected via Bluetooth and I've got it set up here I've got in the, under the long exposures so for the 35 millimeter I've got a few saved settings so normally I just go with a one minute uh, one minute exposure so my settings are going to be ISO 800 f2.2 Camera on bulb, shut up, uh, my ops on one minute, and off we go. We'll see what we get. So we've got the tracker running. Beautiful clear skies. Okay, that's the shot. How does it look? Looks pretty good. Perfect alignment. Nice sharp stars, good focus. So, I would say we are good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on now. Get my pano with a 35, so that'll probably be roughly 10 shots across, maybe two rows, should do it. Um, yeah, so I won't bore you with the rest of that. Uh, I'll turn the lights out and uh, crack on.
it's now about uh, 1.30. I think we thought we were going to be uh, all done about an hour ago, but we're still here at the uh, finishing off shooting the tree. The moon has risen about half an hour ago. It absolutely looks beautiful. Um, so we're going to sneak in one more little uh, shoot at yep. the uh, the old bakery, the old bakery yep. in uh, Green Hills. So uh, we're going to quickly pack up here. We've done all of our uh, track shots. Um, so yeah, we're going to nip off and uh, we'll meet you there. Okay, we've arrived at the bakery, which was only about uh, 10 or 15 minutes drive from where we were before. Um, gorgeous little uh, historic bakery. So this, we've got the Milky Way core just up here above it. So it's in a perfect position. Um, so we're just gonna capture this one and uh, then we'll be heading home and try to get a couple of hours sleep <laughs> before heading off to work in the morning. Um, yeah, so you'll see the, uh, the end results after this. Okay, catch you guys. Bye from Barat. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>